everybody. Welcome back. We've been talking about the immune system and the lymphatic system, particularly the lymphatic system. And this time we're going to carry on with the lymphatic cells. So um, the lymphatic cells, obviously these are cells. We talked a lot about the vessels. Um, how, there's just a couple different ones that you need to kind of know. And then within that, there is also some complexity. So let's start ahead. Um, so the ones that are going to focus on bacteria are, uh, we refer to those as neutrophils. Um, also an important type of cell is an NK cell, natural killer cells. So these are big lymphocytes that are going to attack and destroy um, bacteria. They use some really kind of cool methods. Um, they also go after a lot of the transfat tissues. Um, and the host cells that are infected with viruses or that have turned cancerous. These are some of our frontliners. Also, we have the T and the B cells. So the T cells are named so because they mature in the thymus. They're kind of neat. They're actually like a sniper type immune cell. And the B cells are a little bit different. So the B cells are actually going to um, differentiate uh, in, the, <laughs> in the blood itself, right? So these are going to be the ones where vaccines for primarily are going to be targeting these cells. They remember what um, the invaders look like macrophages which we love we love macrophages are big eaters and they are uh, large and they are phagocytic cells um, and they generally are going to be moving through the connective tissue which also means blood um, so they develop from the monocytes pro properly as well as from sometimes in some cases other types of macrophages what they usually do is they're just on cleanup duty they're going around and they're picking up pieces of dead cells and debris and all the stuff um, other dead cells entirely and they eat them up um, and kind of clean the area they also hunt down bacteria as well as other types of matter um, so sometimes this can be uh, pigments or even uh, inorganic materials that are stuck inside say the skin for example um, so what they do is they actually eat this stuff right and they they eat say like a bacteria here's like a bacteria I'm gonna give it out Tina right right here okay and what they would do is they'd eat you know this bacteria up and then after they've kind of broken it down into all of its parts they would display some of these parts on the surface of their body so the other cells can come up and touch them and learn that these are the uh, parts or the proteins of an invader. And so that uh, protein that they are displaying is the antigen. So that is an antigen presenting cells or an APC. These are the teacher cells. So here's one doing uh, a really good job on a bunch of bacteria. Dendritic cells uh, are named so because they have kind of like arms, right? So it's like what a dendrite is. They kind of like are these processes that extend out. Um, so they are branched um, antigen presenting cells and they can wander about the body. We tend to find them in a few specific like key places. So that's going to be the epidermis, the mucosal layers, and as well as the lymphatic organs. These are like all the hot spots. Stuff is going down busy, busy areas of the body for the immune system. So um, what they do is they alert the immune system to uh, certain types of pathogens that it can bre have breached the uh, body surface. And um, right, so they are some, some of the most uh, important teacher cells. Those are reticular cells. So uh, reticular cells, you may remember like reticulated, think of like a reticulated giraffe or a reticulated python, right? It's kind of like this shape that almost like interlocks with these other shapes, right? And that's a reticulation. So um, some of these stationary cells are going to contribute to the stroma of the lymphatic organ themselves. So they're going to be just like kind of part of the um, overall matrix. All right, that's pretty much it for our cell types. So um, I hope that was helpful and I hope you're having a great day. Goodbye.